The following program is sponsored by SHP Financial. Are you recently retired or nearing retirement? You could be walking into a perfect storm of events that could have significant financial consequences for your retirement savings. Hi there, I'm Kelly DeMarco, and welcome to Retirement Roadmap TV with SHP Financial. Soaring inflation, stock market volatility, high government spending, and a recession. How could these events impact you and your retirement? Coming up on today's show, we'll talk about the perfect storm of events that threaten your retirement savings and some little-known strategies that could help protect and grow your nest egg. Saving for retirement is a great start, but it's what you do with this money that really matters. How will you reduce your taxes in retirement, generate income, minimize your investment risk, and pay for the skyrocketing cost of health care? Welcome to Retirement Roadmap TV with Derek Gregoire from SHP Financial. Derek's been featured in Forbes and the Wall Street Journal, and he's the co-founder of SHP Financial with offices throughout Greater Boston. This is where you can count on straightforward advice about how you can manage your money and focus on what matters in retirement. Hi, I'm Kelly DeMarco, and welcome to Retirement Roadmap TV with SHP Financial. Today, we're talking about a perfect storm of events that could threaten your financial security in retirement. Here to talk about it is Derek Gregoire. He has been featured in Forbes and the Wall Street Journal, and he's the co-founder of SHP Financial in Greater Boston. Great to see you, Derek. Kelly, it's always great to be here. So let's talk about this perfect storm of events for the next wave of retirees. Let's dive right in with the first threat. Sure. We think about all these threats that are happening right now. The first big threat for everyone is soaring inflation. This is not a small problem. This is a huge problem, and it impacts everyone. This is the highest inflation that we've seen in almost a half century. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going anywhere at any time soon. We can talk all day about all these inflation statistics, but you don't need to hear it from me. You feel the impact of inflation every single day. Everything is a lot more expensive. I mean, you're paying more for groceries, you're paying more for gasoline, you're paying more for utilities and household staples, you're paying more for furniture, travel, automobiles, housing, you name it, and you're paying more for it. Yeah, everything has become so expensive, I imagine it's affecting everyone who's watching. Oh, for sure it is. But it's probably a lot worse than what the numbers are telling us. See, according to economist and inflation expert Peter Schiff, if we measured inflation the same way we did back in 1982, The real inflation rate would be in the mid-teens, which would be the highest inflation rate in our country's history. Many economists and inflation experts believe that the Fed was too slow to react. It's been a case of the too little too late. And as a result, to me, it's going to be a lot tougher to get rid of. So these high prices, Kelly, they could be sticking around for quite a while. So how does inflation, how does all of this affect retirees? Well, if you look at inflation, it's incredibly dangerous for retirees because you're living on a fixed income, especially at rates this high. You only have so much money to spend every month. And the higher prices rise, the less money that you have for common necessities. It's not hard to imagine some folks that are out there that have to make the unthinkable decisions like eventually choosing to buy food or buying medicine, right? I mean, imagine this scenario. Let's say you've budgeted for retirement, you built a plan, and you need $6,000 a month for your retirement. And that $6,000, naturally, you want it to last until your 100th birthday. But if inflation rates stay in the 6 to 8% range, and I'm not saying they're going to, but just run the math. If they stay in the 6 to 8 range, in less than 10 years, you could need about $12,000 a month just to maintain the same lifestyle that you had when you were drawing $6,000 a month. So you've now gone from $6,000 a month from your retirement savings to 12000 and imagine fast forward what that looks like 20 or 30 years down the road. You could be coming out of pocket for even more money, right? So this could cause you to run out of or through your entire life savings a lot sooner than you would actually plan for. Unfortunately, we see this happen from time to time because people out there invest and underestimate the impact of inflation even at normal levels, and that's where you can get yourself into real trouble. Aside from inflation driving prices through the roof on everything you buy, it also creates a nightmare for retirees who are trying to generate income. I mean, think about it. If you put money into a CD or even bonds, which are considered safe havens, you can end up losing money when you consider 
the high rates of inflation. Are you seeing any common mistakes that retirees are making? I imagine you see a lot of people coming into your office right now. Yeah, people coming in and, and people that we don't know that are trying to get some information. I mean, most of them are very concerned about inflation. It's one of the biggest fears that retirees and soon-to-be retirees have today. However, few people are actually doing anything about it. I mean, they're frozen and scared because they don't know what to do. The good news is that there are some strategies that could help you stay ahead of inflation so you don't lose your purchasing power in retirement, but it's critical that you take action. And when I think of like, you think of a, a common mistake that I see when it relates to inflation is most people that come into our office for the first time, they have a portfolio, um, like a statements, 401ks, IRAs, but very few have a plan. And I remember a couple that came into our office a while back and they came into our Shell Shore office in Plymouth, and they were basically, you know, working hard, saved up a ton of money, and they had seen this exact show or something like this, our TV show, and they looked at each other at the same time and said, you know what, we realize we don't have a plan. We just have a portfolio. And so when they came into the office, we had a cup of coffee, and I said, you know, what brings you in? And they said, Derek, we, we were watching, and every time we meet with our advisor, we've had for many, many years, we have all these concerns around things like taxes, inflation, healthcare, all these things. But the only thing that we ever talked to about was investments. Oh, you've made money, you've lost money, we're gonna rebalance a portfolio. And while that's important, we know we're missing a lot of key areas. And I said, well, I'd agree. And there's a lot of things that we probably need to fix. And so they said, is that something you can help us with? And I said, sure. I said, if you think about what we're known for since we started the company back in 2003, we're known for the SHP Retirement Roadmap. And yes, investments are a key critical point, but that's only one piece of the puzzle, right? Think of a pie with five pieces. Investments are here, and we handle that. But we also handle things like income, cash flow generation, taxes. What about 401k and IRAs? What role do taxes play? Healthcare, Medicare, right? And, and uh, Medicare, long-term care. What about estate planning, right? Working with the right attorney. So it's, that all needs to be coordinated and it's not a set it and forget it. It's not a one size fits all. It's a particular plan for you that has to be adjusted as laws change, tax laws change, things change, right? So think about when, when, when we were sitting down and as we went through this process with them, right, they didn't know what they were missing. They knew they were missing some pieces of the plan, but they said, Derek, we have a partial plan and we want a holistic plan. And so if you're watching this right now, you know, a lot of you are probably in that same position. So whether you have a full plan, a partial plan, or even no plan at all, now is the time to get a second opinion. Absolutely, and you, you nailed it when you said people need a second opinion. It's not the statements, it is an actual written plan. So I love that. What kind of advice do you give people who are just trying to protect themselves? Because it can feel scary right now. Oh, 100%, people are nervous with everything going on. But Kelly, if you retire when the economy is strong and the stock market's growing, you're on easy street. Even if your plan's not that great, you have these things that can make up for it because the market's going up. But if you retire when the stock market is falling, or even if you're facing a recession, it's a totally different ballgame. If you don't have a comprehensive plan that we've been talking about, you could be setting yourself up to fail. And we want to help you avoid this by creating a comprehensive financial game plan, and we won't charge you a dime. So how does this typically work with your clients? Sure, so the process is pretty easy. It's called our SHP Retirement Roadmap. All we need is some basic information from you. Next, our team and I will research the strategies that are best suited for your specific situation, and then we'll sit down and review these strategies with you. And ultimately, this is the plan that could make your money go a lot further in retirement. See, at the end of the day, our team does all the heavy lifting for you, and we won't charge you a dime. So whether you've saved 500,000, 2 million, or 15 million, this one hour visit with our team could potentially change the direction for the next 30 to 40 years of your retirement. I bet that helps people just sleep better at night knowing Ooh, that. 100% Kelly. All yes. right, Derek, thank you so much. So if you wanna learn how you can make your money go a lot further in retirement, contact us for this SHP Financial Retirement Roadmap. There is zero cost or obligation, so you can schedule your initial analysis now by calling this number, 508-452-2510. Minimums do apply, and the offer is only available if you call today. So here's that number again, 508 
452-2510. Well, are you concerned about stock market volatility and how that could impact your ability to retire? We'll talk about why it could be a bigger threat than you think when we come back. You're watching Retirement Roadmap TV with Derek Gregoire from SHP Financial. This is where you can count on straightforward advice about how you can manage your money and focus on what matters in retirement. And now back to Retirement Roadmap TV. Welcome back. I'm Kelly DeMarco, and you're watching Retirement Roadmap TV with SHP Financial. So today we're talking all about a perfect storm of events that could threaten your financial security in retirement. Here to talk about it is Derek Gregoire, who has been featured in Forbes and the Wall Street Journal. And Derek's the co-founder of SHP Financial in Greater Boston. Thanks again for being here today. Let's get into this second big threat to your retirement savings. Yeah, I know all these threats that I'm throwing out there, but it's important. And the second biggest threat that's on everyone's mind right now is stock market volatility. You know, many people have short-term memories, right? The stock market had such a huge rally for so long that people forgot that the stock market can go down too. Every bull market is followed at some point by a correction or a bear market, and that's the way it's been since the very beginning. Even some of the biggest Wall Street cheerleaders are now saying, to not expect the same returns that you've been receiving for the past handful of years. And it's going to be a lot more challenging. And as we see, you're seeing that play out right now. When the pandemic hit in 2020, it triggered a number of issues, including inflation and supply chain problems. The Fed responded by tightening monetary policy and raising interest rates. Then we had the war breaking out between Russia and Ukraine. So all of these things created this perfect storm of events that has been shaking up the economy and causing all of these gyrations within the stock market. And I know a lot of people are nervous. If you're watching, you're probably nervous too about the recent stock market volatility. Yeah, it's, it's, I guess it's natural, right, to yeah. be nervous as we go through this. But the worst thing that you can do during market volatility like this is to panic sell or make emotional, knee-jerk financial decisions. You see, when you panic sell, you lock in any losses and miss out on potential gains when the market eventually recovers. I mean, how many people do you know that sold during the pan or in a panic during the 2008 financial crisis at the bottom of the market, right? And I remember we were in business. We started the company in 2003 and went through that. I mean, how many do you know that sold during the recent correction during the pandemic a couple of years ago? I mean, the stock market soared after these events. And unfortunately, those people lost a lot of money and they lost out on a huge opportunity as the market grew to new heights. Do you think that some people are trying to time the market? Oh, always. I mean, people is, oh, someone's always trying to time the market, but in my opinion, it's very hard to do that right and to be consistent. You're much better off establishing an investment strategy that doesn't revolve around getting the timing of the market right. I mean, there's no way to tell when a stock will bottom out or reach an all-time high. As the saying goes, it's time in the market, not timing the market. And by sticking to your long-term investment strategy, a few market fluctuations could be much easier to navigate. So let's talk about retirees who may be watching. Should they be worried about what's going on in the market? Oh, 100%. I mean, if you think about retiring, and if you retire when the stock market's growing, I mean, the wind is at your back. They say a rising tide floats all boats, right? And this could help your money last a lot longer in retirement. However, according to CNBC, if you retire during a downturn in the stock market, or even a bear market, the combination of the losses to your investments and the need to make withdrawals from your portfolio to pay for your retirement, it could leave you with a lot less money for the rest of your life. This is called sequence of returns risk, and this is a huge risk for anyone that's recently retired or on the doorstep of retirement right now. I mean, for the first time in a decade, this sequence of returns risk is a really big issue for retirees. I mean, what happens when your monthly income is fixed but the market goes down. You still have to take withdrawals, but the money that you're taking out won't ever have that chance to recover. You see, when we meet someone for the very first time, they usually have a stack of statements from various accounts, almost like a junk drawer, right, of statements. They have not made any adjustments to their investments for many years in a lot of cases. And the longest bull market in history has thrown a lot of these portfolios way out of whack. And unfortunately, they're taking more risk than they know or even that they need to at this stage of the game. 
So I'm sure a lot of people come to you wanting to know how are we going to reduce this risk, especially in retirement? Yeah, 100 percent. I mean, that's the one of the biggest things you need to take care of mm -hmm. is what is your risk going to be in retirement? How, how have you built your portfolio? And when you go through it, when it comes down to it, we think of the five key areas to a plan, right? To a real financial plan, we have to look at income, investments, taxes, health care, and estate planning. But before we can get to all these other areas, the income and investment strategy is the foundation because that's what pays you. That's where your income comes from. When you retire, that paycheck stops. That portfolio now turns into your paycheck along with Social Security and, if you're lucky enough, a pension. And so people are always concerned about taking risk as they get closer to retirement. And so we've had clients, we had a cl uh, client couple that have been with us since around 2006. So they were with us during the 2008 and, and since that, you know, for many, many years. And they had a friend who was much younger at the time. But about a year ago, this woman, Beth, she was a nurse. She was ready to retire. And their friend referred her to my firm and I. And when we sat down with Beth, Beth said, you know, Derek, I've been working so hard. I don't know if you know what it's like to be a nurse and the night shift, but I've been putting in a lot of time. And I said, well, I can relate. My mom was in labor and delivery for many years and retired a few years ago, so I understand the toll that comes with that. And Beth said, you know, I'm really proud. I've saved up a million dollars in my 401k, 403b type plan. And I just want to make sure I don't go through what happened in 2008 and saw my friends go through and lose all this money and not have a plan in place. So she's like, what do I do? And it really comes down to when you're building an income strategy of where you're going to withdraw money from, it really comes down to three different buckets. And this is what I told her. I think it's very relevant. Think of a bucket for safety, a bucket for income, and a bucket for growth, right? Well, what does that mean? Well, safe money, right, is money that you need to get your hands on at any point quickly. It's going to be liquid. It's going to be available. It's not going to make a lot. But if you have a rainy day, or the roof leaks, the car breaks down, you can grab that whenever you want. Think of that as like bank accounts. The next column, right, is income. That could be all different accounts that you want to draw, that you want to draw from to create income in retirement. It could be, uh, you could have CDs and bonds. It could be annuities. It could be real estate investment trusts. It could be dividend type portfolios, right? Enough money there. Generally recommend being more on the conservative side to cover your income stream for the next five, 10 years or more or longer. Then only then when you have your short term money, the safe money, your income money, which covers you for the next 10 years or so, then you can have growth money, right? And that money's 10 years plus. That's stocks, that's ETFs, mutual funds. But if you think of her case for Beth, she has 50,000 short term that she can get her hands on for emergency. She has the income bucket with 450,000. That is going to cover the withdrawals along with her Social Security for the next 10 years plus. That means the growth, the risk in her portfolio is in, is in an account that we don't need for many, many years. And that type of planning, if you think about it, she just wants to make sure she's going to be okay. And no one likes that the growth account goes up and down and there's volatility, but it's much easier when you don't need it for 10 years. You can ride those, those waves, ride the market uh, gyrations out with a lot more confidence. And with Beth, she, that's what her main concern was. I appreciate you putting all this together, but I'm just confident that I have a plan in place and that I'm not just winging it or taking on too much risk. I bet. I bet it's just such a relief to have everything in writing to know where you're going to go. Yes. So what kind of advice do you want to give to people who are watching today who may be in the same situation as Beth? Well, if you think about it, Kelly, there are significant headwinds for investors right now. And these headwinds, they could last for some time. I mean, no matter, no matter where you turn, there's risk. We just talked about it. See, most people don't think about this, but actually one of the fastest and smartest ways that you could grow your nest egg right now is actually by reducing your taxes in retirement. Think about it. The less money you pay the IRS, the more money you get to keep in your pocket. That's why I put something together just for the viewers on the show today. Learn how you could reduce your taxes in retirement with a free customized retirement tax savings analysis. How does this work with your clients? Sure. And this is important, Kelly, because taxes, we didn't even talk about it in the last little segment, but that's a big part of like planning once you have that foundation down. So first, we'll get some basic information from you. We'll then determine the tax saving strategies that are best suited for your specific situation. And then we'll sit down and share these strategies with you so that you can see how much money you could save in your retirement. And at times, 
we're able to uncover opportunities that could save tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxes. But don't wait, because some of these tax saving strategies, they could be going away real soon. Yeah, now is the time to act, that's for sure. Yes. Derek, thank you. Sure. So learn how much money you could save in taxes with this free retirement tax savings analysis from SHP Financial. You can schedule a free analysis now by calling 508 508- 452-2510. Minimums do apply, and this offer is only available if you call today. So here's that number again, 508-452-2510. When we come back, we're going to talk about why out-of-control government spending could mean higher taxes are just around the corner. You're watching Retirement Roadmap TV with Derek Gregoire from SHP Financial. This is where we tackle the toughest challenges with retirement planning today like reducing your taxes, generating income, minimizing your investment risk, and paying for the skyrocketing cost of health care. And now back to Retirement Roadmap TV. Welcome back. I'm Kelly DeMarco, and thanks so much for joining us on Retirement Roadmap TV with SHP Financial. Today, we've been talking all about this perfect storm of events that could threaten your financial security in retirement. And here to talk more about that is Derek Gregoire. He's been featured in Forbes and the Wall Street Journal, and he is the co-founder of SHP Financial in Greater Boston. Derek, thanks again for being here today. Let's get right to this third threat for your retirement savings. Yeah, the third threat of the day with this perfect storm is that we could see much higher taxes in the very near future. You see, it's no secret that our government has gone on a spending spree in the last few years. Between economic stimulus, new infrastructure updates and social policy bills, the Inflation Reduction Act, and the latest Student Loan Forgiveness Act, the government has spent trillions and trillions of dollars. And it's important for everyone to understand that the government doesn't have any money of its own. And money certainly doesn't grow on trees. So the only viable option to pay for what is now more than a $30 trillion debt is to raise taxes. And most people don't realize this, but taxes are lower today than they've been in over 40 years. So given the government spending, if I asked you, do you think taxes are more likely to go up or go down in the next few years? Obviously, most people think taxes are more likely to go up. I mean, it's literally written in the code in 2026 that they're supposed to go up to where they were before. And these implications, these, this could have huge implications for anyone who is either retired or recently retired. And there's a gentleman named David Walker. He was a former Comptroller General of the United States. He served under three different presidents. And he's basically what I would consider almost the CPA of our country. So this guy really knows what he's talking about. And he said that the government is going to have to do one of two things. Either one, cut spending in half, or two, double taxes. And he said he knows this because he did the math himself. Yeah, so how high do you think taxes could go at this point? It's a great question. I mean, if you look at the history of the highest federal income tax rates, it wasn't that long ago when taxes were nearly double what they are today. I mean, in the early 1980s, the highest federal income tax rate was 70%. And do you know what it is today? It's 37%. Now, truthfully, I don't think taxes, I hope they're not going anywhere near 70%, but the government has a lot of room to work between 37% and 70%. And don't take my word for it. According to the Nonpartisan Joint Committee on Taxation, which is a committee of the U.S. Congress, they said in 2023, taxes will increase by $16.7 billion on American taxpayers earning less than $200,000, a nearly $17 billion tax targeted solidly at low and middle income earners next year. And in my opinion, this could be just the tip of the iceberg. So if you're retired or nearing retirement, these higher taxes really couldn't come at a worse time. This could drive up the taxes you'll pay when you withdraw money from your IRA and 401k. But that's not all. You could also be paying more taxes on your social security benefits, your investment income, and more. So the money that you were counting on for retirement, it could end up being a lot less than what you had thought and planned for it to be. Which is not a good place to be in, right? When we're right at the cusp of retirement. So are there other areas that spell trouble to you? Well, income taxes is the main one that I see, but obviously you could get hit by higher taxes in other ways, like higher capital gains tax, higher corporate tax, higher estate tax, and the list goes on. And here's the kicker, Kelly. The government literally has the power to change the tax laws whenever they feel like it. They can vote on it and make changes. So they can raise your taxes anytime they want 
And then you and I, we have no say whatsoever at that point. Yeah, I think it's interesting, though, that you know a lot of people believe that, hey, we really don't have any control over our taxes, but that's not necessarily true, is it? No, we had talked about it earlier. Right now, we talked about taxes going up in 2026. So I believe right now you have more control over how much you pay in taxes in your retirement than at any other point in your life. I mean, the majority of Americans are missing out on a huge tax savings opportunity I mean, think about it, they just do the same thing year after year after year. They simply prepare and file their taxes on April 15th. But aside from simple deductions that might help them save a few bucks here and there, what's done is done. If you want to save a lot of money in taxes, you have to take advantage of tax planning. With tax planning, you're looking forwards, not backwards. And your tax savings could be significant. I mean, so many people come into our office, like I told you, and they have a portfolio but no plan. And I could not imagine having a plan that doesn't incorporate taxes within it, especially if you have 401ks and IRAs. So not planning for taxes, Kelly, you could be setting yourself up for failure. I bet. So finally with the show today, I just want to know kind of what's, what's the best piece of advice that you can give people who are watching today? Oh, well, that's, that's a tough one, but I'll do my best here. I mean, let's say you have an IRA or 401k. You want to think of this as being your money, right? I get that, but it's really a joint account between you and the IRS. Because remember, you still have to pay taxes when you withdraw this money in retirement, right? And you could end up paying a lot more taxes on the accounts than you know. The good news is, there are ways that you could reduce your taxes in retirement. And that's why I put something together just for the viewers on the show today. Learn how much you could save, or if you could save a small fortune in taxes when you retire, with a free retirement tax savings analysis. How does this work with your clients? Sure, pretty simple. First, we'll get some basic information from you. We'll then determine the tax saving strategies that are best suited for your specific situation. And then we'll sit down and share these strategies with you so you can see how much money you might be able to save. And at times, we're able to uncover opportunities that could save you tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. But don't wait, because as we talked about, these tax saving strategies could be going away very soon. Yeah, now is the time to act, yes. that's for sure. Derek, thank you so much. Sure. Learn how much money you could save in taxes when you retire with a free retirement tax savings analysis from SHP Financial. You can schedule a free analysis now by calling this number, 508 508- 452-2510. Minimums do apply and this offer is only available if you call today. So here's that number again, 508-452-2510. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for watching Retirement Roadmap TV with Derek Gregoire from SHP Financial. We look forward to seeing you next time. And remember, it's not what you make, it's what you keep. Could you save a small fortune in taxes when you retire? Find out with a free retirement tax savings analysis from SHP Financial. Schedule your free analysis now by calling 508 452 2510. Don't wait because some of these tax saving strategies could be going away soon. Minimums do apply, and this offer is only available today. So call 508 452 2510.